which is Anthony Baxter's film, A Dangerous Game, which is the follow up to uh, You've Been Trumped. And, you know, I'm here in Shetland at the Screenplay Film Festival. We played You've Been Trumped here a couple of years ago and uh, or maybe a year ago. And Bill Forsyth was here. And one of the things with You've Been Trumped is it features scenes from local hero and Bill Forsyth hadn't seen the film, hadn't seen You've Been Trumped. And he was here with Anthony Baxter. And Anthony Baxter was terrified that he, you know, he wouldn't like it anyway. He loved it. He thought it was great. It was this extraordinary account of how Donald Trump managed to build this golf course on an extraordinary area of special scientific beauty in Aberdeenshire. And during the course of making the film, Anthony Baxter fails to get an interview with Donald Trump, but does get himself arrested. And it is a really, really good documentary. And it's kind of, you know, it got picked up and seen around the world. In the case of A Dangerous Game, he basically takes the story beyond that, which is firstly, he looks at other places like Dubrovnik, where they've got a similar situation with a golf course for, you know, basically a golf course for millionaires, golf courses which cost hundreds of thousands of pounds to join being about to be built on a UNESCO uh, historic site. And um, and the other thing he manages to do is that he actually gets an interview with Donald Trump. At the beginning of the film, we hear this phone message from Donald Trump saying, look, I'm, I'm going to give you an interview. So he goes and he meets Donald Trump and he says to Donald Trump, you know, wh why wouldn't you speak to me before? You know, I got arrested trying to speak to you. And Donald Trump says, well, you know, the thing is, now you've had your documentary shown by the BBC because, of course, the BBC ended up playing um, You've Been Trumped. Now you're important. <laughs> What he then does is, you know, filibuster and not really answer any of the questions and, you know, and be the usual Donald Trump thing. You know, I did what I did. I was right. Nobody cares. You know, no, nothing else matters. The person he doesn't manage to get an interview with is Alex Salmond, who pr proves much more uh, hard to get hold of. And of course, one of the things that the film is about is not just the people building these golf courses and the extraordinarily wealthy clients that the golf courses cater to. But, you know, whoever is the particular the local government ministers who allow this to happen. And I think it's really interesting that what what Anthony Baxter has done is to take a story that looked originally like a very specific story about some people having, you know, a sort of David and Goliath story about people living on this land, having a battle against this great big tycoon coming in. And he made all these comparisons with local hero, which is very much the same thing. Little Scottish village, you know, in comes this American tycoon, apparently to build an oil refinery. But in this film, he's widened it out and he's looked at his much more of a global problem, much more of a sort of general ecological problem. What happens when you build these massive golf courses? What does it do to the landscape? What does it do to the environment? What does it do to the local population? Does it actually bring in all the jobs it's meant to bring in? Or is that, in fact, just uh, flim flam? And I think, uh, although it's not, I mean, the, the thing with uh, You've Been Trumped is it was such a specific story. The characters were so specific in it. It had a real focus. This doesn't have quite that, but it does, I think, carry on the story really well. And there is a great irony that in this, he finally gets to speak to Donald Trump. I mean, Donald Trump doesn't answer any of the questions, at least not in a way that, you know, that manages to justify it. But he does at least, as Anthony Baxter says, he does at least agree to talk to him.